Now watch. Here. Obviously gonna miss a note. Can you see that? Can you see, can you all see that she's about to miss the note? And do you understand why? This is really important. And once you start to see this, everything changes. Right there, she's uncertain about where to put the horn and nervous. Once you, once you identify it, it makes things less um, confusing. You set yourself up to make that sound and that's all. Once you realize that, it gives you a lot more control and choice. Let's look at the stopped high note. You, you set yourself up different for that note. You're there, you're on the note before you play it. You see the difference? Boom, I'm on the note. It's actually, your work is in the gap between notes in this spot. It's to either go through the mental muck until you've made it to the other side or bypass the, the mental muck, the, the mental muck. Whatever is available to you. Sometimes the bypass is available. You can go straight to what you know is going to work. Other times you have to sit there and let your monkey mind fling crap at you for 10 seconds. Right, monkey mind, you're going to fling some crap at me. I'm here for it. Like, take your time. I've got all day. All right, but are you done yet? Because <laughs> I want to play this note, and I'm not going to. I'm not going to try to play the note until you just stop flinging crap at me. Because I can't play a note when you're talking, talking like that to me. I record myself a lot, but I don't think I've looked at it from that perspective before. So that gives me something new. Yeah, go ahead and get, get into the practice room right now and see if you can get like five reps on just that jump between those notes. And by jump, I mean the mental, the mental journey between those notes.